Yo, what's up guys, maybe Pelle here, and I'm bringing you another Pokemon Showdown replay battle for you guys today. And this is a pretty good battle I had, and uh, looking at team preview, I'm actually at the back, and I'm running this team built by CTC, which is a team built around uh, Subcar Mine Keldeo and Pursuit Trap in Mega Metagross. And these two work exceptionally well together, as the biggest check to Keldeo, of, of course, is the Latte Twins, and uh, Mega Metagross can easily come inside on those and Pursuit Trap them, helping Keldeo sweep. So looking at my opponent's team, he's running a pretty uh, dangerous looking team. He is in fact running a, a Latte, which I do need to trap, like I said. And then once I trap his Latte, my Keldeo can put a whole lot of work in his team if I manage to set up and get behind his up. And also my Mega Metagross is a huge threat to his team. Biggest threat on his team to me is definitely going to be that Mega Lopunna. So uh, I'm actually going to side fleet off of my uh, Mega Metagross, predict him to lead out with his Lopunna, just to use his time to freely Mega Evolve. And ex I'm actually expecting to go for a Fade Count. But here, it actually reveals a sub, which is interesting. But it's fine by me, as I actually just click Hammer Arm. Thankfully, I connect, and I break his sub. Seems though I have actually revealed Hammer Arm. I do know he's not going to switch on out into the likes of his Heatran, Ferrothorn, or Escadrill. And he's definitely not going to stay in, and uh, I can't eat any of it. So uh, I'm actually expecting him to go out into his Rotom Wash. So I'm just going to click Zen Headbutt, as it is my safest play. As he does make that switch out now, into his Rotom Wash now. And uh, I do manage to connect the Zen Headbutt, which is great, as I do a solid 65%. But after the Citrus Berry here, which is a little bit unusual on Rotom, I'm actually going to decide to switch on out into my latter, as I didn't actually want to risk uh, missing a, uh, a secondary Zen Headbutt, and I wasn't too sure if the initial one was a roll. So I'm just going to use this time to go out to my latter, just to take the Will-O-Wisp, which, which it does in fact land, which is fine. So now I'm actually expecting to go out into his Heatran, or even his Ferrothorn, so I'm going to pull a double out into my Keldeo. As basically what I want to do is try and lure in his Latte so I can trap it with my Mega Metagross. So I'm going to pull that double now, expecting to go out into the Latios. So I'm going to pull the double out into my Mega Metagross. It actually goes out into his Ferrothorn, incidentally, which is a little unusual and a little unfortunate for me, as I can potentially set up with it uh, on my Keldeo if it's not running uh, Power Whip. So here, what I'm going to do is just go for a Hammer Arm and gauge how much restores, get a bit of damage off on this thing. It's actually do a solid 60%. Revealing that his Ferrothorn is in fact physically defensive as he goes for knockoff. After the knockoff and the Iron Balls and Rocky Armor, I'm going to lose 50% of my HP. So here yeah, I'm actually expecting him to potentially switch on out. Uh, so I'm going to decide to go out to my Landorus as I, I wasn't too sure whether he was actually going to stay. And like I did mention, I'm just going to decide to go out to my Landorus to choose time to set up my Stealth Rocks. Because he's going to go for the Seeds and uh, I'm going to actually be forced to uh, pivot around this Ferrothorn as it's actually a huge threat. With the seeds and the knockoff, it's going to start to whittle down my team. So I make a very aggressive play and go out to my Keldeo as he pops me with a power whip. A little bit of bad play looking on it, looking back at it, as I probably should have just gone straight onto my Breloom. So what I'm going to do is just go out into my Landris now, just to get off a secondary Intimidate. And try and get off a bit of damage with EQ. Looking at it on hindsight, I should have definitely gone out into my Breloom as opposed to going back out into my Landris. Because we have already established this thing as physical defensive uh, Ferroform. So I should have decided to go out to my uh, Breloom now as opposed to uh, taking those seeds. So I am in fact going to finally go out to my Breloom on his uh, knockoff here. And what I'm actually going to do, because I'm an SD Breloom, I can I know I can freely set up an SD. And uh, at plus two, I can take it out with a Mock Punch. As he reveals his uh, final move, the T-Wave. So what he's going to do now is actually go out to his Heatran, which I'm assuming is Death Fodder, which is uh, a little unusual because... Uh, once I connect the secondary mock punch, thankfully I don't get paralyzed, it does lose a potential stealth rocker. So uh, unless he's running the uh, stealth rocks on his Excadrill, he has just lost his rocker, which is fine for me. And now he's going to decide to go out into his Latios. And here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to decide to go out into my Landris and uh, just sack my Landris because then I can get a free switch into my uh, Thunderous. The reason why I'm going to decide to go out into my Thunderous as opposed to going out to my Mega Metagross. Because at the range of HP my Mega Metagross is at, I won't be able to live a Life Orb Hidden Power Fire if he is running it. And I have no way to scout for it. So I'm just going to decide to sack my Landris and go out into my Thunderous, go for a T-Wave, and then be able to take out his Latte with either my Mega Metagross or my own Latios. But here reveals a Psychic, which is uh, interesting enough, should definitely be running the side shot. But I don't actually see Life Orb Recoil, so I'm actually expecting this thing to be Choice in some way, either Choice Scarf or Choice Specs. So knowing that, and knowing he's locked into Psychic, I can freely go into my Mega Metagross now and just pursue Trap to this thing, which works out fantastic well for me, and down goes the Latios, which was a huge problem to my Keldeo, of course. He does, however, get a free switch into this huge threat, his Mega Lopunna. I am going to be forced to sack here, and I'm actually going to decide to sack my own Latios, as it is the most expendable thing on my team. It actually goes straight for the High Jump Kit right now. 
And he is actually going to decide to pull a switch on out into a Seraphorn. Which I found out maybe he's not running return, which uh, he definitely should be running return. And he definitely should have gone for that. But maybe he thought he could try and um, stall out my Latios with a combination of Leech Seed and get a little bit of HP back. But that's definitely not going to work out as uh, the Side Shock in combination with Draco Meteor is going to be enough to take out his Ferrothorn. So uh, down goes that thing. On the double down, I do know he's going to go out into his Lopunny now. So I decided to go out into my Thunderous. Just use his time to go for the Prankster T-Wave. Cripple his uh, Lopunny. Looking at it, a little bit of a questionable play on my opponent's part as he does have an extra drill and he does have a uh, Rotom Wash which can easily absorb a Thunder Wave. But he doesn't know that I'm not actually running Focus Blast on my uh, Thunderous. And I'm not too sure after Rocks if a Thunderbolt will be able to take out his Rotom Wash. So he does actually reveal the return now and it's easily going to be able to uh, to it KO me as the Thunderbolt unfortunately isn't going to be enough to take out the fun uh, the Lopunny. But down goes my Thunderous now but this is fine as I can just go into my Mega Metagross. And uh, just easily click Ice Punch. I don't need to risk missing and just take out his Mega Lop on it. His last two Mons will easily go down to my Mega Metagross. As uh, I do know, as long as I don't miss his Senna, but I can take out his Rotom Wash. And that's exactly what happens. Down goes his Rotom Wash. And his final Mon is in fact Excadrill. And uh, it's actually revealed to be on a Bloom. So it's not a Scarf Drill. So I do know, as long as I connect the Hammer Arm, that will be the game. And I do. So a little mini sweep at the end by Mega Metagross. But this was a pretty fun battle. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course, subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.